In our Missing series this week here on News Nation, we are taking a closer look at a case that we've actually covered before, but after four years, there have still been no answers. 25-year-old Chance Engelbert is a husband and he's a new father who disappeared from a family gathering in Nebraska in 2019. And even though years have passed, his family is not giving up hope that he'll be found. Here is a closer look at Chance's story. When Chance Engelbert made this left turn down a side street in Gearing, Nebraska, no one had any idea it was the last time they would see him. His grandmother now adding $200,000 to the reward to help find him. My husband said, Lydia, you can buy anything you want. What do you want? And I said, what I want, I can't buy. And I said, I want to find Chance. But so far, no big breaks. It's brought a lot of calls, but not anything that has panned out to be anything. Chance was a former rodeo star. Turned family man. In 2019, he and his wife Bailey and their newborn son were spending 4th of July weekend in Bailey's hometown. According to Garing Police, Chance spent July 6 golfing with his in laws until Chance got angry at comments about his new job. According to Bailey, Chance called and said he wanted to leave to go home to their house in Wyoming. When she picked him up and drove to her grandparents' house instead, she says he got out of the car and started walking. He called his friend and best man, Matt Miller. Well, he said he, he got in a fight with his in-laws and he was wanting to come back to Wyoming to his house here in Moorcroft and needed a ride immediately. That was four hours away. There's just no way I could make it. When you spoke to him that night, did he sound intoxicated? No, he sounded upset. He wanted to get the heck out of Nebraska. Chance allegedly called back and said he was walking to Torrington, 35 miles away. This surveillance video is the last confirmed image of Chance appearing to follow a map on his phone. I relive it over and over and over every day. <laughs> I see the video of him walking down the street on the surveillance cameras, and I replay that every day, thinking that I'm going to figure out where and why. But nothing's coming yet. <laughs> then at 9.08 p.m., the last communication from Chance's phone, a text with grumpy face emoji and a confusing mix of letters. A short time later, Chance's phone went dark. Nothing on his phone after 9.08, nothing. A powerful storm passed through the area that night, raising suggestions Chance could have fallen into the swollen river, an idea his friend rejects. We put hours and hours and hours down there walking river bottoms, and I don't think he's in a river. I think he's buried underground, and he's hidden. If he got hurt by that storm, Mother Nature doesn't hide a body like that. If there was foul play, was it a random act or someone who knew Chance? Brian Eads, the lead investigator on the case, says they have enlisted outside investigators, canine teams, they have conducted search warrants, polygraph tests, and they still chase down leads. He says Bailey and her family have been forthcoming and thoroughly investigated. All of the family members have been interviewed. Um, all of their properties have been searched by law enforcement. Amanda Waldron is a volunteer investigator with the nonprofit We Help the Missing. She says there's a long list of young men who've gone missing in Nebraska since 2019. It is definitely alarming, definitely some concerning circumstances, suspicious circumstances, random circumstances. Um, although I, I don't find any of them kind of fit the profile similar to Chance. No clear similarities except for the lack of answers. I do think because it is a less populated area, it is a lot easier to cover up a crime. Um, a lot of people that are uh, from the area protect their own. Chance's family now hoping to break that silence with the additional reward money. There will never be closure. We lost our chance. But there will never be closure on this. Um, it would be helpful to have him in um, a place of dignity that he deserves um, to be put to rest. 
not giving up hope. You have to feel for that family. And Chance's little boy, who was a baby at the time of his disappearance, will be about three years old right now without his dad. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.